Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Justin and Nathan Take On the Dunwich Legacy. Today, we are at the uh, Miskatonic Museum. The agenda, restricted access. Dr. Henry Armitage has given the university's Latin translation to the Necronomicon to his associate, Harold Walstead, the curator of the Miskatonic University Museum. Worried that someone might be still after the book, you have gone to the museum to recover it. When the hunting horror enters play, forced, uh, attach the set-aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it, or add one resource to Shadow Spawn if it's already attached. Five doomed to advanced. Shadow Spawn's over here, which is, uh, it remains attached to the Hunting Horror even if it's in the void. It gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade for each resource on Shadow Spawn. If there are at least three, uh, it gains massive. Our act is find a way inside. Unfortunately, the entrance to the museum is kept locked at this late hour. A security guard is visible through the building's front windows, oblivious to his surroundings. Perhaps you can find a way to get his attention and convince him to let you in. Two clues pass us through. Um, uh, the location we are, the museum entrance, we cannot gain resources. Um, and the entrance to the museum halls, the only connecting location, is locked and we cannot move into it. But the museum entrance, which we're on, gains as an action test five, fist five to attempt to break down the door to the museum if you are successful immediately advance to act 1b oh. uh so i'm gonna go first i'm gonna play dr francis morgan um i'm going to i think i'm gonna like just try to break the door down at six to five yeah let's try to break it down Oh, auto fail. We'll go again, six to five. Uh, minus one, minus three if the hunting horror is at location. So I'll break the door down and we'll okay. advance immediately to act one B. I just punch through it like yeah. Ryu. <laughs> so what this does, Nathan, is these clues on this location. Yeah. Uh, we can use those later in the scenario now. So that's nice. Oh, we don't, we don't need to grab them? We, we do need to grab them, but we don't need to oh, use them on this act because this oh, would yeah, require okay. two. yeah, yeah. So, if we have uh, performed the punch ability. With great strength, you break down the door to the museum, making considerable noise as you do. The security guard sees you enter, cries out in fear, and rushes towards the back of the museum. The door leading to the museum halls is broken. Reveal the museum halls and advance to Act 2A, breaking, or en breaking and entering. Which is this one. This one can go into Hades. Alright. Breaking and entering. Uh, the Necronomicon is being kept in a restricted hall somewhere in the museum. If an investigator enters the exhibit hall, restricted hall, we advance. And the museum is, uh, is connected to each copy of the exhibit hall. As an action, the investigators of the museum hall spend two clues as a group to put the top card of the exhibit deck into play unrevealed. So the exhibit decks are six rooms in the museum that we can explore. Cool. Um, those are my three actions, Nathan. It's your turn. Uh, all right. Number one. Oh, my gosh. Pop nice. this out. Uh, number two, I'm going to investigate. Sick. What's the three? You're four to three? Actually, one second. Sure. Play that to draw three cards. Cool. Sick. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's brain. No, no, but if you can, if you play it in your hand. Oh yeah, slot. you get plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so now you investigate things. at five to three. Yeah. Because fast means one. it doesn't take an action as well to play. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that means sick. Okay. Yeah. So you have now one I'm action gonna investigate. Left. What does that mean? Minus, Minus one, one if you fail. Search the encounter deck. I didn't fail though. Nice. All right, you gain a clue. So we good. All right, we each gain a card, but we do not gain resources at this location. Oh, good. Oh, look treachery, at that. obsessive. Oh. Easy enough. Yeah, this is honestly the time to do it, right? 
Okay, um, Doom advances, and uh, evil cards starting with you, Nathan. What's your evil card? Oh, shit, it's the Hunting uh, Horror. Hunting Horror, nice and fast. Let's just immediately get there. Right off the bat, first card in the deck. <laughs> sick. Super sick. Start of the enemy phase, reveal a token from the Chaos Bag. Hunting Horror. Okay, cool. All right, and then my card is... Ephemeral Exhibits. Test a book three. If you fail, lose one point action for each point you fail by. I'll commit this glory to go four to three. Uh, minus three because of the Hunting Horror, so I lose two actions. That's a rough start, if I do say so yeah, myself. Yeah, that's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal at all. So, Nathan... Um, how do we want to do this? So we could run away from the guy. The only downside is you probably won't be able to get rid of your obsessive this turn if we do run away from him, because you probably, I imagine, want to get out of here. Yeah. What do you want to do? Um, probably get out of there. Okay, like grab the clue and get out? Yeah. All right, so... The first action you want to take... Oh, well, if you go first, you'll have to discard a card with Obsessive. That yeah, be... that's fine. Yeah, you just drew three, right? So. Yeah. No, Dr. Not Ellie! Ideal. That's okay. Um, so you could evade it, which would be at four to two, which is a pretty good ratio. The skull does make you fail, so if you have a foot, you could do it. Otherwise, you could just, like, try it at four to two. Bam. Cool, so you're five to two. Nice, you succeed. Nope. Get, back. Get out of here. Oh my god. So this guy's evaded at this location. So then you could try to grab the clue and leave, or you could just get the heck out. I'm gonna try and grab the clue and leave. Cool, you're five to three. Good luck, my friend. You did it! Easy. And then move? Yep. Okay, um, I have one action left. I'm just gonna get out of here. So, enemy phase begins. I'll draw a token from the Chaos Bag. It is one of these symbols, so he will move. I will take him. And he will punch me. And by punch me, I mean Dr. Uh, Francis Morgan will take a blow. Fair. Okay. Um, cards and resources. And now we do get both. Two and one, right? Uh, one resource, one card. One and one. Yeah. I remember how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Doom goes up to two. An evil card goes to you, Nathan. It honestly could not be worse than last turn. Passage into the Veil. Test head three. This test has plus two difficulty of haunting horrors at your location. Uh, if you fail, you must either discard the top five cards of your deck or take one direct damage. Okay. And pretty minor. he's at our location, right? He is, yeah. He's hanging out with me. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Five... To three. Uh, the, the the fail is just you take... you Like, the worst, like, da one damage or five yeah. cards. So it is pretty soft. Alright, you get zero. That's a hard fail. <laughs> I'll just take one damage. Nice. My evil card is... A twist of fate. Uh, uh, Dr. Francis Morgan takes one damage. Okay. So, I think this guy's gotta go. Um, I'm gonna play Mono a Mono to deal two damage. Him just showing up this early is very hard. We'll spend a lot of actions to try to avoid him. So, we just got, I just gotta kill him. Um, then I'm just gonna punch him. Oh, wait one second. I'm going to take an attack of opportunity to play these boxing gloves. Sounds good. Um, and then we're going to punch this guy at um, 7 to 2. Oh, baby. Uh, if this skeleton is return an event from your discard pile to your hand, I'll take this. Probably this glory, actually, is probably better. No, the mono and mono is good. But the glory means I can help you, so we're taking the glory. 
Uh, I'll deal two, one damage to this guy, defeating him. So he will move to the void. Uh, however, I will draw a card with Dr. Francis Morgan. I will search the top six cards of this deck for a spirit card. Hmm. Spirit. Uh, probably you. Oh my god. Someone who I've had a very brief conversation with in my in text in my phone is named Saucy Top and I don't know who it is and they just messaged me asking a question. Oh, and w oh no, was the question was it a normal human question? Uh that was you know books, right? Oh, well you do know books. So that's good. Um, for my last action, Nathan, I'm going to spend your clues to spawn a room if that's cool with you. Yeah, that sounds great. Because then you can, like, do things. All right. The first exhibit hall is made. Um, each copy of exhibit hall is connected to the museum halls, so you can move to any of the locations that will be down here from there. All right, that's me, Nathan. All right. Um... I really want to go into the security room. Sure. Tops of cards of your deck uh, for card. Huh. Oh, your right. uh, obsessive triggers as well, by the way. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, no, they need to stay that way. <laughs> Fuck Full all choice to discard all four. I like it. All right, that's Ooh. not the one I wanted to get rid of, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, did you want to spend two actions to get rid of it? Yeah, I'm going to spend two actions nice. to get rid of it. And then move in, and would you like to take a free investigate with your ability? That's exactly what I would love to do. Nice. And I get plus two value on it, because yeah. I'm going to do that. So you have seven to two. He did it, folks. Gain Easy. a clue. Easy. Cool. All right, cards and resources. Right. And then everything readies that is exhausted as well. Don't forget that. That also happens here. Okay, we are at three doom. And then, Nathan, when you're good, you can draw your evil card once you get your cards and your resources. Uh, all right. I got my cards. I got my resources. Evil card. Let's go. Trip, crypt chill. Head for fail. Discard one asset. If you cannot take two damage. Yeah. Is it like weirdly flipped on your screen too? No, no. It looks normal on my screen. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, head four. Uh, I'll just. I don't want to lose an asset. It's fine. Cool. Oh, oh wait, no. Discard. Uh, right. My evil card is a locked door. Attached location with most clues without a locked door. So you cannot... I'll need to break this locked door down for you to grab these clues. Which, honestly, I have nothing else to do. So let's start punching another door. I beat down one door, I'll do it again. I have five to four. It is destroyed. Uh, and then for my last action, we'll just get out of there. <laughs> Easy turn. Nathan, you're up. All right. Can we screen? Thank you. Uh, I think I'm going to use two turns to search six cards. Cool. Plop those boys there for me. One more. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this guy. Flip one more time. Thank you. Oh, they don't get discarded. They oh. go into your deck. Well, good. Except for that one. I can do this. I can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. Rude. Why? Why? 
Try, yeah, try grouping them all first and then drawing them all. Works too, I guess. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Or just press four on it. Yep. Okay. That was rough. We got uh, there, though. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> that was really rough. Uh, you have one action. Um, yeah, and there's still one clue here? Yeah. Uh, you were five to two. All right. One sec, let's see here. Oh, yeah. he's playing Eureka, baby, so you're six to two. Yeah. Uh that's good. The All Eureka right. actually did it for you. Here. So someone gave me a tip about searching decks. So okay. go right click and then go cut and change it so that the right number is how many cards you want to search. So change it to three on the right side. And then, and then click you... cut after that. Click cut. That's 11 cards. Okay, so um, here, I'll do it again. It's a bit, so it's a bit weird. So right click, so go to cut, drag yep. it. So on the right side, it says three, and then click cut after that. So well, on the hide... right side. Yeah. I did it on the left side. And then right click and press cl cut again. Yeah, or yeah, or no, but just no, don't um un right yep. click because it'll reset. There you go. Thank you to everyone on YouTube who gave thoughts on the best way to uh, search your deck. Another one that's also pretty easy, Nathan. Someone recommended flipping your rightmost card face down in your hand, then drawing three because then it's separated. Oh, I like that too. Yeah, that they're both they're both really good methods. So thank you everyone who commented it, those ideas. I believe that's it for our turns, isn't it? Yes. And, and you gave that clue, that so you have two. Yeah. Alright, cards and resources. One, two, three, four. We are at four of five. What's your evil card, Nathan? Beyond the veil. What does this really do? So, uh, when you have no cards in your deck, you take 10 damage. Oh, that's it? Okay. Uh, it does have Surge, though, so you do draw another card. Yeah. I'll get the hang of this eventually. No, it just... It's... Another Treachery. Put Cursed Luck into play in your threat area. You get minus one during tests. I'm also Beyond the Veil. And Visions of Future Past. Test Spring 3. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. Okay. I will play... This get over here, and we're going to draw plus one. Watch this, everybody. Ooh, that's not good. I spawn the hunting horror at my location. <laughs> and I just the top two yeah. cards in my deck. No, Randall! Oh, no! All right, so he is a bit stronger. He has plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one evade. Okay, um, Nathan... Why don't you go first so you can like get out, go through here, and like do what you need to do, Randall? I really would have loved you to not be discarded. I need to get rid of that first. Hmm. Uh. First things first. Let's bring Doctor Armitage with us. Nice. He's only one, right? Two. My bad. Uh, and then. Go one. Let's just check this place out right away. Oh, goodness. Uh, you cannot investigate while you have four or fewer cards in your hand. Well, thank goodness that it, my turn is done. Oh, uh, we do your free uh, investigate, remember? Yes. So let's do that. What's the... Uh, the shroud is two. Two. So, and I have minus one. So you're uh, four to two. Yes. Yes, yes. That's that's easy. Nice. Yeah. And your cursed luck is gone because you failed by one it or is, you succeeded by one or more. Nope. Thank you. Nice. Nice and easy. Okay. Hello, Hunting Horror. How's it going? 
I don't want to kill you yet because I believe I remember what's coming. So... I'm gonna just fight you to gain two resources. Let's start there. So we'll fight this guy at five, six, seven to three. He'll take two damage and he has four health. Um, I will then attempt to evade this guy at just two all, I think. It's a fail. I'm not expecting to pass this. That's okay. I just don't want to kill him and there's nothing else worth doing. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, enemy phase. This guy gives me the bonk. I'm going to die. And that's a bit scary for Nathan. Uh, but cards and resources. We do get those. Ooh, that's super helpful. All right, bong. The, the agenda. Advances. Oh! What's up? Oh, I'm... Nathan drew his deck. <laughs> I must have accidentally hit 12. Yeah. Uh... I had these four in my hand, so that's the... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, Nathan, while you're doing this, yeah. um, from the shadows of the... Um, from the shadows of the hall, uh, museum halls, a terrible creature slithers forth, long and serpentine, and propelled by black leathery wings. If it is in play, add one doom to it. Hello. Uh, if it's not in play, put it into play. So... All right. I was right to not kill him. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, evil card, starting with you, Nathan. Let's go. Visions of futures past. Five head for each point you failed by. Discard the top card on my deck. Spicy. Okay, cool. I'll just add two. No, wait. That's only if he's... the. You can only commit use these cards... When they're in your as, hand. When they're in your hand as that. So yeah. five to three. What do I got? Yeah, sure. I'll commit that. Cool. So you're a four to three? Four to five? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. That's the best I got. Let's yeah. go. Oh. Yeah. Nice. You're good. We did it. And you may move. Oh, oh wait. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm not going to, though. Cool. Uh, my evil card is... Slithering behind you. If the hunting horse is in play, add one doom to it. Sure. Uh, if it is not in play, spawn it, engage with you. Honestly, that's super helpful that we drew that when he was still in play. All right, Nathan, I'm going to try to kill this guy. I believe in you. With this monster slayer. This fight deals plus one damage. So we're going to attack at um, seven, to f seven to three. Oh, baby. He'll, uh, I go down to four to three, so he will die. But he will just come back bigger, stronger, and faster. And angrier. And angrier. However, I do get to trigger a bunch of stuff. So I'll draw a card off of Dr. Francis Morgan. And then I will search the top six cards in my deck. And take one of those. Cut. Let's search this. Hmm. I guess we just prepare for war. I really would like a counterpunch. Did I already lose one of those? That's the question. I think I did. No, I haven't. Okay, that's good. Um, my action number two, we're going to move into this hall. Uh, after you fail a skill test while investigating exhibit hall, take one horror, and then I will leave, because that one is much too scary for me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fair. Alright, Nathan, what do you got? Uh, I did not cards and resources. Cool. Grab those, then. Okay, interesting. Alright. Um... Get that back out for good measure. And then I think we're just going to investigate. So 
So you have Ow. four, five, six. You'll five. pass. Yeah. Uh, and one action left. And I'll just do a, another investigate and see what happens. Nice. Hey. One more on there. Nope, that's it. Yeah, one more on there. Cool. If you wanted, you could leave, assuming the hunting horror doesn't spawn, you could leave that last one for me, and then you okay. can start yep. spawning rooms. I could probably yeah, get it with what I have in my hand. Yeah, I'll do that. That sounds good. Okay. Um, cards and resources? Yes. All right. Uh, I'm going to play this card called First Watch at the beginning of the Mythos phase. When we draw encounter cards, I will look at the top two cards and deal them as I want, but we each need to take at least one. No, dealing no more than one investigator than myself, so I could take both of them. All right, what do we got? Oh, sweet. I'm gonna give this one to you, even though it is a bit mean. You just have a few more sacrificial assets than me. And I will draw this Obscuring Fog and put on my location. Hmm. Actually, you know what, Nathan, I'm gonna take it. No, you know what, you take it, you take it. Worst case okay. scenario, you lose your field work or like your Dr. Henry Armitage. Or your magnifying glass, even. Yeah. All right, uh, let's roll. Oh. That's just auto fail. Okay, cool. That doesn't actually mean anything. Uh... See you. All right, I'm gonna move in here. I'll investigate with this to go four to two. We succeed. I grabbed a clue. Justin's doing it. I will then move out of this location. Cool. You're up, Nathan. I'm going to want to. Would you like to investigate for free? I would love to investigate for free. Uh, boop. Three. Nice. You nice. hit six to three. That's good. Uh, and then I'm going to pay one resource resource to bring the ancient bring stone. The ancient stone out. Um, and I'm going to use this. Is that what I wanted to do? Yes. To investigate yeah, to again. Investigate again. Yep. Cool. So with, are you doing it with the Ancient Stone or just investigating? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm doing it with the Ancient so Stone. So then the shroud of this location is six, just so you know. Yes. So So then four. you have six to it. You're, you're actually five to six currently if you do That's that. That's fine. One second. Um, let's just pretend that hasn't happened yet. Sounds good. Oh, just kidding. We're going to pretend that has happened. Sure. Uh, <laughs> we'll also throw out this guy. Cool. So you are it's six all. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, cards and resources. Oh no. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah. Uh, did you draw your card and get your resource? I did. Cool. All right. Doom goes up to two. Nathan, draw your first card. Locked door. Oh. So that'll go on uh, the location with the most clues. I won't be able to get that this turn. Uh-oh. Terror from beyond. Choose one. I'm going to choose asset. We each need to discard all assets in our hand. Well, that for each is asset shitty. you have, you'll have to discard it. Oh, 
Oh no. Yeah, I had uh, my good friend Doctor uh, Christopher in there in my hand. My apologies. <laughs> um. Okay, I can get to that next turn. Actually, I could probably get to this turn. But also at the same time, you could also spawn another location if you wanted. What do you think's better? Do you want to stay here and investigate this, or do you want to like do your moving around and come back to it later? I'll spawn another location. Okay. We'll move in here and I'll punch door. We are six to four. Door is no more. I will then move out of here and up here. Nathan, you're up. So do I just like walk over no, and that's No, no, so Museum Halls is as an as an action, investigators as a group can spend two clues to put the top ah, part okay. of this deck into play. Uh, here, Nathan, you keep one of yours. I'll spend the one I have because it's sitting here. That's good. Uh, you could also, so one, two, if, yeah, you wanted to move, you could. and or you Yeah, could, oh, yeah. that refreshes. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, the exhibit hall, after you fail skill test while investigating here, discard an asset you control. The shroud is two. Shroud is five. Cool. So you're going to investigate with this? Uh, I don't have to. I I choose to do that. Yeah. It's okay. An yeah. It's as the inv oh, Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Um. Not this turn. Cool. Uh, would you like to exhaust your field work to gain plus? Just kidding. On this We're gonna do it this turn. You're doing this. Yeah. All right. So then you're at six to five. Five. Good luck. Thank you. You fail. Fuck. Uh, you'll have to discard an asset you control. Uh, Dr. Armitage, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, goodbye. Cool. Okay. Thanks I for coming to help. I believe that was all your actions, because you moved up here, spawned a clue. Alright, uh, cards and resources. See you later, Daring. Alright, we are at three Doom. Nathan, what's your evil card? Do, do terror from beyond... Um, event. All right, and my evil card is Passage into the Veil. Test Brain 3. I will go this to go 5 to 3. I fail anyway. I guess Dr. Francis Morgan is dead. <laughs> oh, this is Morgan. going awful. Okay, but it is, uh, my turn's pretty simple, this one. I'm just going to, like, spend two actions to get rid of this, and then I'm going to draw a card. Cool. All right, what do you got? Um, one, two... Three to draw three, three cards. Cool. And oh then card, God. then cards and resources. Oh, he did it again. I keep hitting one and two at the same time. Hey, Tommy. How's it going? All right, not the most helpful, but that's fine. Okay, right. we are at four of seven for this agenda. What is your evil card, Nathan? It is... Beyond the Veil. Pushed into the beyond. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three cards of your deck. If a copy of that card... Is, okay non-story asset that's either of the yeah i'll just get rid of this guy then you discard the top three yeah Oop. i'm just gonna do this the hard way no nope. good you're good my evil card is a twist of fate I take two horror. I'm going to die, Nathan. 
I don't like that. Okay. Uh, it's our actions. What do you got? Um, I've not got a ton, to be completely honest. I mean, honestly, Nathan, all you gotta do is just get yeah, clues. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, investigate again. Yeah, that's all you, yeah. that's all you need to do. Yeah, I was hoping I... Oh, God. Discard an asset you control. You got a clue. Oh, thank God. That's not worth playing either of those. Minus one, you're good. All right, those are your three actions. I am going to punch Tommy three times. I'm going to attack him at six to two. One. He will take a damage. He'll take a damage. He'll take a damage and I'll return an event to my hand. That is honestly awesome. Interesting. I wish I could get you back, Randall. <laughs> I really wish I could. Um, I guess I'm going to grab Monster Slayer. He's dead. Uh, I'll draw. I'll look at the top six cards. Sweet. I am running out of cards in my deck, but I also am going to die from horror, so... Who cares? Counterpunch is exactly what we want. It is a spirit, though, right? Let me just make sure. It is. All right, um, cards and resources, Nathan. Five. What is your evil card? Sorry, give me one second here. Of course. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, passage into the Veil. Test head three, plus two difficulty if the hunting horror is at my location. Oh, all right. Three all. Four three. You're good. Nice. Okay, my evil card is Stalked in the Dark. This gains Surge. Cursed luck. All right, not bad. So, Nathan, for reference, um, if these four cards up here for the exhibit halls, one of the last three are the restricted uh, hall that we need to find. All right. So if you move up here and spawn two, That's I can spawn the last one, and like we can hopefully find it pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. Is it our turn? Yeah, it's yeah, it's our turn. All right, so do that. Spawn one. Yep. Spawn two. Spawn another one. Yep. All right, I will spawn the third if I can spend your clues. If that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Nathan, which of these two do you think is the restricted hall of down at the bottom? Mm, left. All right. It's the Egyptian exhibit. Well, After you fail skill test here, lose one action. I have one action left. I will move back up here. All right, cards and resources. These are very helpful if I don't die to horror. Ah, uh, good. And we are at six of seven. Nathan, what's your evil card? Arcane Barrier. That's a bit awkward in this location, which is pretty important for us to move out of. But let's not, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. A twist of fate. This could honestly kill me just by random chance. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. Okay, I take one damage. That's totally okay. Okay, Nathan, we need a plan. Yes. So, in a perfect world, we can get two more clues. Is it better, do you think, for you to hippity-hop and look for the clues first? Like, maybe try this area first because if it isn't the restricted hall the last one has to be right yeah maybe it's worth it yeah i think so cool so you have to do a brain four test after you move and if you right. fail you either cancel the move or discard the top five cards of your deck so i'm gonna throw this guy out for all for all 
That's the best I can do. Let's hope for good. Oh, yeah. Baby. You get to search the top three cards. That's very nice. And let's see what Nathan moves into. It is the restricted hall. Let me know when you're done your search, and I'll uh, do what needs to be done. I'm done. Okay. We have found the restricted hall. Yes. So we will advance this. Um, when you enter the restricted hall, you find the curator of the museum clutching an ornate statue as if it were a club, his suit stained with blood, a panicked expression on his face. The security guard you saw earlier lies in a pool of blood nearby, his intestines strewn about in a grotesque display. Your stomach turns and you resist the urge to vomit. I tried to stop it, but, the curator says quietly, his voice quivering. Whatever did this, it's still nearby. Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Harold Wallstead asset. Harold, how's it going? Ooh. Do you want him? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. So the only downside is if he, if he dies, we add a bad token to our, our bag. So don't kill him. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, the last thing we do is we spawn the hunting horror in this location. That tracks, unfortunately. Uh, we cannot investigate this location when he's there. Alrighty. So Nathan, uh, all we have to do is if there are no clues remaining on this location, we advance. So we need to kill him. He's with you. He's not massive yet. So for reference, this guy has four attack and four foot and five health. Yeah. So we need to get rid of him so that we can investigate the last... Four clues. Four? Yeah, I four thought there's only... Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Huh. Huh. Okay. So you uh... could try to evade this guy. He does only hit you for one and one as well. Fair. Fair. Uh, yeah, I'll try to evade him. Holy shit, Nathan did it. And those are your actions, huh? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move in here. Hello. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack... The hunting horror while he's down. But I'm not going to kill him this turn because we're about to have an agenda shift and that usually respawns him. Makes sense. So we'll attack him at 6, 5 to 4. I will commit a vicious blow to go 6 to 4. I'll commit a 1 2 punch to go 7 to 4. Minus 1 is good enough. So he'll take. One, two, three, four of his five damage. Dude, that's is that true? One, so one from the punch, two from this, three from me, four from that. That's crazy. Good job. So Nathan, my only request is that if he stands up, you take him. Okay. Actually, I could take him, but then I kill him. So now you take him so I don't die. <laughs> Uh, enemy phase, let's see if this guy stands up. Oh, I have one action left. I'll draw a card. Uh, let's see if he stands up. He fucking stands up. Do you mind getting bonked by him? No, that's fine. Cool. So do I get hit immediately? Yeah, he attacks you right now. Perfect. Oh my god. Uh, but then it's card and resource time. Okay. Okay. Alright, this advances. Shadows deepen. If the hunting horror is in play, add one doom to it. Otherwise, spawn him. Um, cool, and then shuffle these together. Uh, the creature in the museum grows larger. Seven doom again. For our threshold. Nathan, what's your evil card? It is... Visions of Futures Past again. Five... To... Five to five. Yep, 
All right. Nice. Ah, oh, you'll just guard one card. Yep. It's not bad. I am so, so that's scared. The, oh, that goes away? Yeah. We good? And Sick. then you discard the top card of your deck. Oh! Elite uh, strats. Mwah. Elite strats, Nathan. Yep, did that on purpose. Uh, all right, hopefully I don't die. Okay, worst case scenario, I just take one direct damage, which is totally okay. Uh, we're testing three to five. Oh, I'm just going to commit this take the initiative. I pass. Okay. All right. Um, hey, I'll take this guy. Sounds good. Actually, question, Nathan. Do you trust me? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to punch him while you're holding him. If I miss, I hit All you. Right. All right. I have Please nine to his four. He is dead. Beautiful. But he might come back even stronger than before. Uh, I will look at the top six cards in my deck. Because if I'm not, if you're not taking full value from your cards, what are you doing, kids, right? Oh, baby, this is actually super helpful. Okay. What's this round right here? Three, and this is a minus one. All right, Nathan, uh, my second action, I'm going to investigate my location and commit this glory. So I'm investigating at four to three, baby. Watch this. Yeah. Nathaniel Cho fails. Um, for my last action, I'm going to just, like, honestly get out of here. Because if one of us spawns the Hunting Horror, if, like, if it's me, it, it not being there for you means that that's pretty chill, right? Yeah. So you investigate at six. Yes, I, uh, eight. Oh, sorry, plus two. I thought he added plus four. My brain's broken. It's fine. It's okay, man. My brain's always uh, broken whenever I play a game like this. What was I going to do? Uh, one, two, three. Uh, jewelry? Nope, hand. Cool. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba, hooded, cloaked figure person. That's a great choice. What the heck happened there, Chad? Get a weird perspective you never see. All right. Two actions right, remaining. I'm going to investigate twice. Nice. First attempt, your clue is yours. Dude, nice. Cool. All right. Let's just dodge him for one more phase, shall we? Cards and resources. That's oh, again, so Nathan. huge. And then we go up to one. And then, Nathan, I'm good for your evil card whenever you're ready. Yeah, I am... A twist of fate. Twist of fate. Honestly, Reveal better than... Reveal a random than... token from the bag. Not too bad. Yeah. Because that could just outright kill me. Two horror. That would have killed me dead. Thank you. A locked door. There's a locked door on the location with the most clues. That's not the one you're on. We can just get this mission done, Nathan. Why don't you try it out? Yeah, sounds sounds excellent to me. In fact, it sounds so excellent that I'm just going to play this. Nice. Uh, but... Okay, let's do some math. So you have four. Or five, six, seven. Minus four is three. You're good. Yeah. Nice. Got it. We advance. So in a perfect world, Nathan, I, we would have loved to have like looked at grab clues from other locations for more victory points. However, yeah. um, I was at one horror, so rushing it was the right choice. Yeah, it was a scary. Okay, at last, you find the locked case containing the Necronomicon. The town, the tome, over eight hundred pages in length, is filled with all manner of macabre imagery, formulae, spells, prophecies, and descriptions of creatures from beyond the threshold of space. Without a doubt, it's a dangerous book, but its secrets could pre prove useful. Nathan, 
Would you like to keep I mean, the book? I mean, we're obviously keeping it. All right, sounds good. Resolution one. <laughs> Come on. All right, resolution one. No, resolution two. Oh, we're burning it? No, revolu- resolution uh, one resolution is two burning is it. Thank you so yeah. much. So the Necronomicon is more than just a book. It is a tool. Within its pages is a wealth of information about the forces and creatures you have encountered. Knowing how useful it could be to your endeavors, how could you possibly bring yourself to destroy it? Besides, as long as you keep the book safely in your possession, uh, uh, you will still be fooling those who wish to use it for nefarious purposes. Record that we took custody. Took custody. Dude. Of the Necronomicon. How close was my... Oh, pretty close. All right. So then that means, Nathan, that one of us gets to add the Necronomicon to their deck. Oh, boy. It's probably not going to be me. There it is. Into resources. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Um, and then you have given to the power, the temptation of power. For the remainder of the campaign, we add a squid token to our chaos bag. Ooh. Spooky squiddy. And then each investigator earns victory X, which even though we killed the hunting horror three times, doesn't matter. So we get two experience to work with, it looks like. Yeah, two experience. All right, we will see you guys in the next episode where Nathan and I get a ride a train. Choo-choo. Choo-choo.